Welcome to this tutorial on using ROS2 with MATLAB and Simulink. Here's the learning path we'll be following throughout this tutorial. In this session, we will focus on the installation process for ROS2. We'll explore various workflows for installing ROS2. Our primary focus will be on installing ROS2 on Ubuntu. For those using a Windows machine, you have the option to run Ubuntu on a virtual machine, such as VMware Workstation Player. Alternatively, you can download a pre-installed virtual machine image from MathWorks. Following the ROS2 installation, we'll proceed with installing MATLAB, Simulink, ROS Toolbox, and some additional required toolboxes. Please note that these workflows may vary depending on your machine and operating system. For instance, it's also possible to install ROS2 on Mac OS. Here's a short video demonstrating the installation of ROS2 on Ubuntu. Following the instructions provided in the ROS2 documentation, it guides you through the process step by step. Once ROS2 is installed, we can verify the success of the installation by launching the pre-built demo, TurtleSim. TurtleSim is a lightweight simulator designed for learning ROS2. It demonstrates the fundamental capabilities of ROS2, providing a basic understanding of what you can achieve with a real robot or a more advanced robot simulation in the future. Next, we'll demonstrate how to install the ROS virtual machine image from MathWorks as an alternative to set up the ROS2 environment. First, you can find and download the virtual machine image from the MathWorks webpage. You can select multiple operating system, including Windows, Mac, and Linux. The virtual machine image contains the ROS2 and ROS1 desktop installation, Gazebo Robot Simulator, and a few examples. Secondly, we can launch the virtual environment, Ubuntu in this case, by selecting the virtual machine image we just downloaded in VMware Workstation Player. We can then configure the screen resolution to suit your display specifications. Next, we can verify the success of the installation by launching ROS2. If you encounter any issues, it might be necessary to source the setup files in each new shell to enable access to ROS2 commands. Sourcing these files ensures that your environment is correctly configured and that all necessary paths and variables are set. To avoid the need to source the setup file each time you open a new shell, you can add the sourcing command to your shell's startup script. By doing this, the necessary environment variables and paths will be automatically configured whenever a new shell session is initiated. This ensures that ROS2 commands are readily accessible without additional steps, enhancing your efficiency and allowing you to focus more on development tasks. Next, we will proceed with installing MATLAB, Simulink, and the ROS toolbox. Installing MATLAB, Simulink, and the ROS Toolbox is a straightforward process. Begin by downloading the installation files from the MathWorks webpage. Once downloaded, set up your license to activate the software. During the installation, you'll have the option to select the specific toolboxes you wish to install. For the purposes of this tutorial, we recommend selecting MATLAB, Simulink, the ROS Toolbox, and Simulink Coder. Simulink Coder is particularly useful for generating ROS 2C++ code directly from MATLAB and Simulink, streamlining the development of complex robotic systems. If MATLAB and Simulink are already installed on your system and you wish to add the ROS toolbox, you can easily do so by navigating to the Add-ons section in MATLAB. From there, search for the ROS toolbox and proceed with the installation. Once the ROS toolbox is installed, you can verify its success by creating a ROS2 node. This step will confirm that the toolbox is functioning correctly and that you can begin leveraging its capabilities for your projects.
Thank you for participating in this session on installing ROS2. I hope you have successfully set up your ROS2 environment. Over the next few sessions, we will explore a series of core ROS2 concepts. In the next session, you will learn about the functions of nodes in ROS2. I look forward to our next session together.